How you doing guys? We're uh, back again for another little adventure. We've got Irwood Reservoir just over there, so we're back in the peaks. And over in the distance, around here, that you can't see yet, just over the back, we're going to be doing Shining Tour and Cat Tour this time. Yes, Cat Tour. So yeah, we've got our little tiny packs on again. And uh, yeah, not a bad day actually, it's a bit overcast at the minute. But uh, yeah, it should be in for good and just a one overnighter this night. So it's either going to be Shining Tour or Cat's Tour that we're going to stop at, depending on what looks nicest really and what the spots are like up the top. But yeah, we've uh, just started, parked the car just around the corner behind the back there. So once we've got on a bit, I'll show you a bit more. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Right, we've got Irwood Reservoir from a bit higher up. But we started just over there where the dam is. Well, it looks quite low at the minute. See where the water markings are, it's a good few metres down. Yeah, it's steep and it looks coming up here as well. Cat's £80 backpack on. It's ridiculously heavy that is, isn't it? What the hell she's got in there? She bought herself a brand new Wild Country Zephyros One Light Tent. And then she's just replaced everything, haven't you? You bought yourself a light tent and you've bought everything else heavy. <laughs> lead pots and everything. So yeah, I'll crack on lads and uh, bring you back. No. Look at the proof. That's hard work, that is. <laughs> right, I'm going for a run. Stop filming quick, I'm getting tired. <laughs> now the question, do we camp or do we go for a pint? <laughs> walking down there to walk back up. <laughs> it's a lovely day though, isn't it? So far. For us in the peaks anyway. Normally it'd be like, ah, can you hear me? The wind! Hold on! <laughs> so yeah, continue the mission. I'll race you. I won't. Alright, second milestone, shining tour, up there, up that path, cat's just hiding behind over there, having a little breather. See so yeah, how we come down from over there, you can't even see the reservoir anymore, just ducks down below that moor. Dean's favourite, the old cat and fiddle, over that way, which I'm starting to wish now that we're parked in that car park and walked up, but shh. And over there, I think, if my memory serves me correct, is where... The sheep pen is that we uh, slept in last time we were around here over by Axe Edge Moor, which I think, I'm not too good at all this, but I think Axe Edge Moor is just over the top of over there. So, we'll carry on and see where we get to. Well, we're at the top of somewhere. We've planned the next one as well. Toot Hill, it's a right little pointy thing, so we're going to go up there next. Well, not today, but... I've got to let Cat beat me this time, apparently. Where are you then? Are you at Shining Tour? I think so. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> are you here? I'm here, I didn't say anything. It's a lovely three in one, yeah, can't wait. <laughs> it's one thing you got to love about the peaks. That you're in the middle of some pristine, beautiful moorland. And all of a sudden, the A46 treble two five. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Hey, this looks pretty good here. Here. 
see a fair distance there. I'll tell you if that cloud is there, see. Guys, bit of a treat for you here. I hope you can see him. That's a way to spend your afternoon, isn't it? That. On your own? No, I oh, I was going to say. Right, well, back to the job in it. <laughs> Where is it? Who thinks that can? We're at the ice point around here. But I can see there's somebody else right above us. <laughs> Killy would say, Bosh! <laughs> well, Mr. Tubefish, as he's now known, has just come over the top of us. He says, yeah. he says, What are you doing? He says, Oh, we're camping out, sort of thing. And he comes flying over. He says, I make crap games for Android's phone. My name's Mr. Tubefish. He says, Well, you'll be on YouTube now on Ants World Camping. <laughs> so he's trying to do some little circling over us or near us, anyway. Fearful for his life, I am. He's going down a bit fast. <laughs> yeah, he's coming back. Have you? What's that called? There you go, you got a shout out. <laughs> this is unreal, isn't it? This is funny. Guys, come down over from the shining tour over there down the path. The path just ends. Thinking, oh yeah, there'll, there'll be a trig round here. No. No cat's tour trig to have cat's picture next to. Cat's upset now. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do, that's kind of boggy and tufty over there. Then I don't want to go down any further. That's farmer's field, so <laughs> I think we're just gonna park at the end of the path. So uh, I had the idea of walking back up Shining Tour, but Captain wanted it. So yeah, we'll uh, get tent set up here in a little bit, I think. Sit down, watch the sun go down behind the clouds, and uh, get some dinner on. What have you got this time? Sausage casserole again. I've got some proper mashed potato, some minted lamb sausages, and some proper gravy. So. Yeah guys, we'll get the uh, kit set up, probably around here or something, and I'll bring you back when it's dinner time. The birdies are back. Oh, don't go too far apart from each other, I'm trying to get a photo. He's going a bit here, you know. Cat's like, yes, it's called a thermal. I did that in New Zealand. <laughs> Jealous. Joke. 
Ih lah saya into Ant's Wild Paraglide and this is... <laughs> Let's have a little look around the camp. Got the old Zephyr eye set up again. The light and the standard. And yes, let me guess, yours is better than mine. Well, I don't like it. I think it's cheap and nasty looking. <laughs> the green-eyed monster rearing its ugly head. You know what's really weird? That I've got a tent you and a paraglider <laughs> all at the same shot. And I won't tell you what the weirdest thing in the shot was. See, you mean to me, I'll be mean back at you. <laughs> right then, I'm going to get some dinner in a minute because I'm starting to get a bit cold. I can't get used to seeing them flying around, you know. Yeah, not got a bad night. Hopefully all the horrible wind and rain that we usually get in the peaks will stay away. It's been good so far to us anyway, so I ain't gonna complain. So yeah, I'll show you what we got for Din Din. Oh, excuse the guy line. We have some Bisto pour over gravy. Mashed tasty. Some of those. They look nice, they do, and they smell really good too. And then Cat's got to look what we found, so we won't bother showing you that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll uh, get some dinner on in a minute, I think. Right, then. Dinner time. I've got a trusty little hangnail with me. Thank you again, Adam. Get inside these. I just cut my sausage straight in half of it. <laughs> mm. Would you care for one of my sausages? Yes, no? One, two. Hey? One? Good aromas coming off this, guys. Look at them. Right, sozies are more or less done now. Shoot. Mash tatty time. And I put a little bit of milk with it, so hopefully, we should get some results here. Right then. Mashed potatoes done, sausages are done. So now, <laughs> little gravy pot. All right, let's have a go with this stuff then. Hand mail to the rescue. Let's have a go. Oh, that's looking all right. That is. First, this is, I've never tried this. Oh, that's a bit risky. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to eat some of the mash off my fork. Yeah, cats decided to go over sausage cob, which I don't blame her with. Out of one of your 12. <laughs> Look at her, nicking all the good sausages. I saw you. I'll have the burnt ones, it's alright. <laughs> That's nice, that is. Right, I'm going to get on with it and get it all done. Right, gravy bubbling. Let's get it in with the mash. I've just tried some of this. It's really nice and beefy, actually. I mean, obviously, as it's beef, but gravy, it's going to be. <laughs> oh, hello. I think that's warm. 
get some sausage in there. Now that's a one pot dinner lads that is. Look at that. Sausage, gravy and mash. I'm one happy camper. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, I thought I'd just show you a bit of the city lights. Which, it looks really good to be fair. It goes on for miles. Okay, temperature's dropped a bit now though. We just had a load of school kids or something go past us, was there, cooking my dinner up, and the next thing you know, walking along, I was like, hello, 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 <laughs> there's loads of buggers, but they just walked up Shining Tour over there with head torches on, but some of them had shorts and a t-shirt on, so, I don't know, I don't envy them now, but yeah, just thought I'd show you a little bit of the lights, yeah, nice night, I've got a nice full belly now, so can't complain about that. Right then, I think it's time for an egg sandwich. These things are brilliant. I mean, I know everyone's probably already seen them before, but I can't, I can't fault them. Quid, and you have to get to have a nice safe egg. It's not going to break. So, egg sandwich. Still a little bit overcast and grey, but we ain't complaining. Well, I won't be as long as I manage to get my egg nice and runny, so I better get to it. Well, managed to get one. It's not the best looking egg sandwich in the world, but it's an egg sandwich. It tastes nice. It's yours, man. Cool, no moaning. That's a first. <laughs> fast moving cloud up here. Yeah, I'll finish these off now. And then back up, and then we're going to walk down that way, down towards the right. Packed up, as always, LNT, leave no trace. Yeah, clouds rolling in proper now, shining tours disappeared. So, we're going to set off down that way now and make our way back down towards the uh, reservoir into the car. So, you ready? I'm Let's ready. crack on. Uh, well, basically, I'm going to call it a funny bear grill. So, uh, 
uh, yeah, check out his channel. He's really good. He's, he's ever so funny. I like help here, cat. Over there, you've got Cat's Tour, kind of the very first one you can see, and then just to the back, Shining Tour over there. So yeah, we've had a, just a walk down the side of the Bald Forest, and it's like a up over to the top of here, which I do know the name of, but I forgot it's on view range. I'll let you know next time I've got the film back on and off. So we're going to walk down the side of here now, and then... Uh, Bitten in the neck because it was swollen up. I don't know if you can see it yet, but around that area, I'll show you when it comes up properly. It stings. Yeah, uh, we can gather rocks, these are. Just checked on my maps. So, uh, yeah, let's walk along the edge of these. And then I think we come down somewhere near that farmhouse and then walk across, down, round, wherever you, and then back to the reservoir over the top over there. So, yeah, I'll crack on and I'll uh, try not to have no anaphylactic shock or nothing. <laughs> Now I got stung by a bee once when I was little and I had a bit of a problem with it so I've been lucky enough not to be stung by anything else since so cat's flapping it a little bit now <laughs> and try and get this before it flies off but look at that flutter by how pretty is that all right just following this path down through the goit forest again now guys Sorry if it's a bit shaky, but there's quite a few roots out, but... Anyone for a hammock? <laughs> I'll tell you, there's a few trees come down in here, you know. Especially right by the edge of the wall, so I reckon that the wind's proper had those, but... The roots ain't very deep on them. They're only quite thin, shallow roots, so that's probably why they've had them all, but... Some pretty good widow makers in there. But I'm hoping if we're quiet, we might be able to see some big wildlife running around. So, yeah, I did get stung on the neck by something, you know. It's proper swelled up in a red thing now. Put some of that uh, alcohol gel on it, though, so hopefully I'll be all right now. I'm sure nothing that bad's going to happen to me. <laughs> There's an animal. Oh, it's you. <laughs> right. I'm going to stop filming now because I've got about 15% left, so I'll try and get a bit more on the walk back down, but if not, it's been a good one. I'll see you next time. Silent in here, isn't it? Alright, well, we'll just come out of the forest now. Well, up and over a sty, just from over there, walking down, and somewhere down this way is Overton Hall, it just said on the signpost. So then I think we get down there, and then go to the right a bit more over there, and we should see the reservoir. But uh, yeah, it's been a really good, really good route this has. It's about, I think it's about six, seven mile, it said, on the, the route planner. But uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll take a screenshot of me, me route thing, and I'll put it up on the end of the video so you can see the kind of route that we went on, and... The outline of it so what I'll do that was just a bee attacking me then side swipe do you see that <laughs> samurai swipe the V. <laughs> so yeah guys I'll uh, probably this will be the last video now unless there's any battery by the time I get back to the car because it's gone quite low now but uh, yeah as always it's been brilliant thank you very much for watching to all my lovely new subscribers and everyone that's stuck with me throughout it all and uh, yeah we'll try and get back out as soon as we can again so for another one Nice one guys, see you later.